Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading uh, for Aries. That uh, This is going to be for your August 2022. Uh, we're going to take a, a look and see what does your guides and your ancestors want you to know. And then we'll finish off the read to see, um, you know, what else do you guys need to know? What you, what else do you guys need to work on? Uh, what, you what to look out for? So just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, aries people uh, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me uh, quick note that these messages are not really meant to be crosswatched flipped twisted or reversed uh, this is for the aries people that are currently on the path of healing spiritual growth and personal growth but if you want to you can feel free to do so okay so uh aries let's get started tell me about aries here what does aries guides and ancestors want aries to know right now what does aries need to know from their guides and their ancestors for uh, august 2022 you can apply this to any of your placements too because this could be in anything yeah so um let's see even though i gave this a time frame these messages are timeless so whenever you catch it that's when it's meant for you all right we have the ten of swords and the two of swords here so i feel like your guides and your ancestors they want you to pay attention to um a painful ending that happened here because i feel like there's a sense of denial or a sense of like pushing this away um yeah i, I mean this ending could be in anything i mean it could be in a, re a relationship it could be with a friendship it could be with a family member it could be with the job you know it could be you know pain that has occurred in the past that you're not dealing with here aries okay uh let's see what else we have oh yeah there's something in the past here that you're still holding on to there that you're not letting go yeah i mean there's a sense of denial here i feel yeah there's a sense of denial and confusion here the five of swords the six of pentacles let's get one more and the nine of swords quite heavy energy here I, I feel like that you're giving too much energy or too much power to the bad things that have happened to you in the past yeah I, I feel like I feel like I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to take back your power and look towards the future here okay because I feel like someone here is just living in the past. You know, there's a saying, you, um, learn from the past, but don't live in it. So I feel like someone here is doing that. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? We have the Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There you are right here, Aries. Seems like they're, they're, you're, I feel like you're holding on to your pain. You're not letting it go. You're not moving it. The energy is not really being moved. Uh, I, I just feel like it, it's just kind of stagnant in your physiology here. Yeah, I just feel like your guides and your ancestors are asking you to trust yourself, trust your intuition here, trust them. Yeah, it just seems like maybe you, you've gone through s several heartbreaks here, uh, multiple heartbreaks in relationships, romantic relationships, maybe even friendships, maybe with family too. Uh, maybe for some of you guys, you guys grew up in a fractured household, okay? Tell me about the Six of Swords here. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? And the Two of Cups. I mean, you're definitely doing a lot of inner work here, but I feel like you're struggling. You're struggling to let things go. 
I mean, you're definitely introspecting, reflecting about the past here, maybe reflecting on your childhood, reflecting on your past relationships here. This is interesting because I feel like at the same time you're learning about it, but you're still holding on to it, you know? It, it could be a situation that, you know, someone here might be constantly talking about the past here, okay? Um, kind of like a, a broken record sort of thing. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to Justice card, Libra Energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? And the Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like this is a form of self-sabotage by holding on to things that are no longer serving you. And I feel like your guides and your ancestors are asking you to use that sword and that justice card to cut it out. Because, yeah, move on, let go. Because, you know, the more that you hold on to this pain, you're actually hurting yourself more and more and more. What else does Aries need to know from their guides and their ancestors? What do they need to work on? What do they need to look out for, for August 2022? What else does Aries need to know? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to work on here? We have the sun, Leo energy and the wheel of fortune. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the Five of Pentacles. Um, for some of you guys, you guys might have a strained relationship with your mom and dad. And I feel like that's where all this comes from. And with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, okay. The Sun and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are about to change in a huge way where you're going to accept this and sort of like move on. And, and, and I feel like the universe is, is assisting you on this. I feel like, you know, this is some sort of maybe um, family karma, generational ancestral karma that you have to clear out here. Okay, we have the emperor here and the five of pentacles. There could be someone that's trying to come back around here too. Whoever this is, this, this person might be missing you now. I mean, this could be a romantic partner. This could be a, a family member that you've lost touch for a very long time. A family member that betrayed you. The f Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. Seems like you're making peace with the unknown here. Or that you're making peace with your past. That you're no longer crying over spilled milk, that sort of thing. Tell me about the sun. We have the two of wands. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. Why is the wheel of fortune here? We have the fool, Aries energy. Seems like you're about to take a huge leap here. I feel like you're moving towards your path of emotional fulfillment and happiness. I feel like you just don't want to be stuck in this anymore. Because I feel like you guys have been holding on to this for a very, very long time. The Emperor, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the World. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Seems like you're slowly closing out a very, very tough cycle. Things are about to get a whole lot better for you, I feel. Once you make that decision to let it go. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Four of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe this is a romantic partner here that you're having a hard time letting go, but it could be a plethora of stuff too. Like I said, it could be like some childhood trauma here too. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's the energy of persevering and really finding your happiness here. And just moving on. I mean, someone here could be coming in with a, an apology and, or an offer here too to you. Whoever this is, this is someone, maybe a, a romantic partner uh, that you had that you're having trouble letting go. And perhaps finally, maybe once you have this conversation, you can make peace with this or move on from this. And things are about, yeah, things are going to get a whole lot better. 
okay? So Aries, this looks pretty good. Uh, if this was helpful, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.